suggest we are traveling today i'm actually headed to my first flight in panama and then my next flight is to colombia so it's gonna be quite um a vlog guys it's gonna yeah but the day has kind of started off kind of rocky right now i'm as you guys know i'm flying from kingston jamaica and i haven't been to this airport in a second like i haven't been here in years i had a carry-on bag suitcase and a personal item but i ended up having to check my carry-on bag because it was overweight by like two kgs but i really naturally didn't have any more space so i kind of checked it call it a day but that's not the big problem that we're facing right now for colombia I needed to complete like the entry form right and when i am flying with Copa airlines on their app and on their website the link to the entry form submission was not working so like when you click on it it brings you to a blank website so i didn't fill out the form because i was thinking that i could either fill it out here at the airport or fill it out at in colombia but and it also did not tell me that you needed to fill it out i guess 72 hours before it never said that so i you know with that in mind i came to the airport thinking that i could do it later when i got to the gate the travel agent told me that i needed to fill out the form and i told her that the copa airlines link was working and she helped me out with it and everything and apparently i was supposed to get like the confirmation document but I have not made it so I was staying at the gate for a while trying like to wait to see if I would get a confirmation still haven't gotten it and I need that to enter Colombia um the lady she gave me like a physical entry form and told me to fill out that one when I get to Panama just in case the one that I the one that I submitted online doesn't work so I'm hoping that if I don't get the entry form in time, that the physical one that I fill out would be sufficient. The physical one that she gave me is also in Spanish. <laughs> and my Spanish is like very basic Spanish that I know. Um, but I mean, I can get through it. You know, it's a form. But yeah, that's what's been happening. So I'm hoping that when I get to Panama and try to go over to Colombia, I won't have any issues. So we will see how this whole thing turns out. This is my first time traveling outside of like North America and the Caribbean and going like anywhere else outside of that. So, and I'm traveling solo for the first time. Well, I've traveled solo before, but I've, I'm going to a new country solo for the first time. So, yeah. And it's a Spanish speaking, it's Spanish speaking territory. So, let's just hope that, um, everything goes smoothly <laughs> but yeah that's what's happening by the way in the airport it's kind of empty like where i am right now there's like a lot of people even though you guys can't see i'm actually proud of myself to be able to vlog <laughs> to be able to vlog like this with so many people behind me like looking at me probably crazy right now but there's so many people around this side but the airport itself is so empty i was actually surprised i know that this a wednesday is a good day to travel but clearly it's a really good day to travel but anyways guys my layover in panama is 14 hours long i get there at 4 44 pm 
and I'll be late over for 14 hours and then I get to Colombia at around 9 o'clock. So look forward to the Panama vlog guys if if all goes well. And I'm boarding in 10 minutes so By the way, you guys remember how I used to complain about um, Mobile Airport? Now that I've come back to Kingston Airport. Mobile wins. Like, this airport? No. It's not giving. But as I said, like I haven't been to this airport in years, but what I remember of the airport was so much more than this. Like, I don't know, I guess because they changed it up since COVID because like the, the seating area, there's no seats at the gates anymore. It's just like one long stretch with like some seats. And then when your flight actually starts boarding, you have to like walk to your, to your gate. The but anyways guys, we're waiting to board. They had said 10 minutes not too long ago, so I'm waiting to hear if I can board now. Thank you. 
but I've been trying to keep it positive and keep things pushing. Um, first things first, I'm in Panama in the Tocumen, Tocumen um, airport. I don't know how they pronounce it. Tocumen, no idea. Um, yeah. So apparently, to lay over in Panama, as in to like leave the airport in Panama, I had to have made like a reservation. Like I have to have like an accommodation in Panama to leave the airport. This is news to me. I didn't know this. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't see that anywhere. And funny enough, I thought about getting a place initially when I was deciding on doing a layover in Panama. But I decided against it because um, I didn't want a chance. Like, because I was thinking of getting a place to stay in Casa Viejo. And I didn't want a chance, like, going there, staying over, and then having to make it back to the airport in the morning. Right? Because my flight is, like, at 7 something in the morning. So, I didn't want to, like, end up going to my Airbnb late at night, like, after, like, being out and exploring and stuff. And then, like, oversleeping and missing my flight. Like, that would have been disastrous. So... That's why I decided against like getting uh, Airbnb or a hotel, whatever. So yeah, <laughs> and then they're like, "Oh well, you can't leave the airport." So I'm like, "Okay, fine, it's whatever." Um, then I was also well before then, I was trying to find a Copa lounge. Now you guys would have seen that I went up to the Copa lounge in Terminal Two. And, well, I'm back in Terminal 2 right now, but like I went to the Copa Lounge in Terminal 2, but they aren't 24 7. They close at 9 pm, which doesn't make sense for me because my layover is like in the night. So I had to go to Copa, the other Copa um, Lounge in Terminal 1, which is the old one, and they're 24 7. Now I keep seeing signs like everywhere pointing to this lounge, and I can see upstairs like into the lounge, but I cannot find a way to get into the entrance to the lounge. I found the other lounge, the Panama one. I found the Panama lounge, which is in like a similar vicinity. And I found the entrance to that, but I still can't find the entrance to the Popo lounge in Terminal 1. So basically, I gave up on it. I was just like, whatever. I can't move up. So I ended up going to... I mean, there are like a lot of like food places in here. Because within like the, boat, the two terminals... <coughs> So because I was in Terminal 1, I went upstairs to the restaurants that they had up there, which is like close to the Copa Lounge. And I found this ramen spot, which I would have showed you guys, but it wasn't that great. It was okay, but it wasn't that great. It was kind of disappointing. Um, the broth was, wasn't bad and everything, and the egg and the, the meat inside wasn't bad, but the noodles were kind of um, undercooked. So yeah, anyways, so, oh, also, remember I was telling you guys that basically I didn't get the the whole thing about the entry form for Colombia, and I told you that the travel agent gave me like a physical entry form that I can fill out. So what I did, I, I went up to one of the Copa Airlines gates. And I just asked um, the agents at the gate to, if it is that, you know, I can use these physical forms to enter Colombia. If I haven't gotten the electronic um, approval and they said, yeah, that's fine. So I guess I should be fine on entry to Colombia. So I was just like holding my breath, trying to just figure out everything to make sure that, you know, I'm not making any mistakes where that's concerned. I mean, it's my first time in Latin America and uh, yeah my first time in a country that English isn't the main isn't the main language so it's like it makes me like not anxious but you know a little bit more I don't know what's the word I'm looking for but you guys get my point 
But anyways, I'm in Terminal 2 right now. They say that you have to pay for Wi-Fi basically. Outside of like 30, they give you 30 minutes for like per device every 24 hours. And they have to pay for Wi-Fi outside of that. Guess who's not paying for Wi-Fi? I'm not doing it. Who does that? Big big Panama and I have to pay for Wi-Fi. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, as we were talking about Wi Fi. I wanted to be able to edit my vlog and upload it but seeing that I have to buy I have to spend $15 on Wi-Fi I think the vlog is gonna go up tomorrow <coughs> also their charging ports are like not located by the seats they're like they have like charging pods or stations but they're they're far <laughs> not far but like they're just not i don't know how to explain maybe if i get up and, and have to go to one i'll show you guys what i mean but that's kind of annoying because there are no sockets around me and my phone is like on 10 percent <laughs> so anyways we're gonna be here all night Still in terminal to charging my phone, and I was watching Netflix and then started listening to music. I hope you guys can hear me because I think I think um, since I have my earphones in, the audio is gonna be from my earphones. So I hope it's not bad. But um terminal 2 it's very quiet over here for the most well not quiet but um just very scanty 
there's like um some men working on like two of the shops that are here like construction stuff but it's, the noise level is not bad i mean i have earphones in anyways and it sounded like a plane just came in not too long ago but on this side of the airport this terminal is very like quiet but i can hear planes so i think it's that's from the other side but there's none landing over here i'm not sure um like what what this side is in terms of like what planes come in here um so yeah the copa lounge is back there right there that's the copa terminal 2 lounge so that's where i am but it's pretty empty as you guys can see and there's people walking I'm deciding if I should go to Terminal 1, which is like back that side. <coughs> but I think I'm going to. I'm like sitting here, people watching, just watching the people go by, watch the workers outside, drive by and stuff. <laughs> Trying to entertain myself. But um... See that? This is moving. It's moving towards the plane. Anyways, when and if I decide to go to Terminal One, I will update you guys. Yeah, so I was about to head to Terminal 1 and I was like, okay, I'm going to give you guys like a little tour of the airport <laughs> from, ter from Terminal 2 to Terminal 1. But then I just checked the board because um, it just came back up after being off for a couple of hours. And uh, apparently my flight has been updated to Terminal 2. So I will no longer be going to Terminal 1, guys. It's a far walk and my bag is pretty heavy. I did not plan on walking with my bag so much today, but seeing that my carry-on got checked, I did not have to walk around with it, so I don't have a choice. Anyways. airport is getting cold again but yeah as I was saying about the as I was saying about the terminal um, yeah I got updated to terminal 2 so I have a long walk to gate 217 I am currently at gate 202 so that's gonna be a pretty long walk for me right now so I'll show you guys the terminal as I walk. Um, most of the places are closed, obviously, because it's pretty late. It's like, it's about 1.20 a.m. right now. So I'll show you guys the terminal. But yeah, this airport's very big. Um, my hand is killing me. Definitely not the biggest airport I've been to. Um, if you guys have ever been to Atlanta, Georgia, that airport, <laughs> that's like my least favorite airport. It's so intimidating because it's so big, but this one is not too bad. It's pretty straightforward. 